Hi, my name is Santosh Rao. I am a medical oncologist and also an integrative medicine physician. I work at University Hospitals Connor Whole Health, and I work as both a medical oncologist and an integrative oncologist. I lead a program in integrative oncology. I'm also the president-elect for the Society for Integrative Oncology. And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about integrative oncology and empowering uh, our patients in this field of integrative oncology. So what is integrative oncology? This was a definition that was developed uh, as part of the Society for Integrative Oncology. And I'm just gonna read this definition to you. Integrative oncology is a patient-centered, evidence-informed field of cancer care that utilizes mind and body practices, natural products, and or lifestyle modifications from different traditions alongside conventional cancer treatments. Integrative oncology aims to optimize health, quality of life, and clinical outcomes across the cancer care continuum, and to empower people to become active participants before, during, and beyond cancer treatment. For me, the things that really distinguish this philosophy of care is first of all, the creative attempt to really meet patients and people with different belief systems, different cultural backgrounds, uh, and utilize different uh, cultural traditions and healing traditions and blend them with conventional cancer treatments, including research in how they can be blended. I think that's important. And the other part is empowering people to become active participants. As a medical oncologist, we know that there are guidelines around treatment, whether it's chemotherapy, hormonal therapy, uh, surgery, or radiation. But what are the things that people can do for themselves during treatment, after treatment, before treatment, to improve their outcomes, to improve their symptoms? How can we educate people to become active participants? We know people are motivated. We know people read for themselves and there's growing information on what is useful and evidence-based and what is probably not helpful. And I think it's our responsibility to take that information and to educate our patients to study uh, what is helpful and, and gain further uh, knowledge in this field. And then to develop over time strategies uh, to personalize this approach to people.